Okay, so for today's project, I'm going to be, hopefully, uh, changing out the LED lights in this Razor Ouroboros. Uh, for those of you not familiar with this, uh, first of all, it's it's just supremely comfortable, uh, and I really like the styling of it. Uh, it's a nice ambidextrous gaming mouse, which normally has green lighting. Uh, it's been... Quite a while since these were out, and they don't have RGB any on any of these ones. Uh, they haven't updated this line, and I can sort of see why. Um, so yeah, the first one I got, this is a, like a semi-new open box one I got off eBay for this. Uh, and it didn't come with these, but you can find basically all the parts for this on eBay, like brand new. So if I mess up, I can get a whole new motherboard for it, basically. Um... Yeah, my first one was a little problem prone. Uh, I did struggle a little bit. <laughs> I sent it for RMA twice. This last one is really good. So I want to modify one that I got cheaper that may not work in the future. Because uh, I don't. I want to practice, basically, and not mess up my really good one. It's also quite worn down. Uh, so even if this doesn't work, I can take the shell from this and put the internals from my good one in it. And then it'll be... Oh, good. Actually, the, all the LED stuff I'm changing won't be on the motherboard. So, yeah. Basically, first thing is to take this puppy apart and also find something to hold all the screws in. Uh, sure, this all work? Actually, no, this is for trying to do the soldering. So, I have, uh, I have my Sigma 700, same as the Yahua. Hot air station with uh, a tiny tip on it, and it is set to 350 degrees, basically no air on it, uh, set to like whatever the lowest is, just so that uh, I don't blow anything around. Now, I thought the, the, the lights in this thing were maybe like 1208 size for the sides, which is what I really want to do, and also the, the top here. But they're somewhere between 1208 and this other super tiny size. So I got these three sizes. I got uh, 3528. That was for possibly doing my car dash. But uh, the color is really... Oh, it's not going to reach. Oh, it might. The color is really not what I wanted. You can probably see that it's quite a... <clears throat> It looks really good on camera, but it's it's really white in person. Uh, you can probably see it a little bit on there. And then these are the the twelve oh eights or something like that. And they're also that same color, which is annoying. It's just way too white for what I want. Uh, this one's actually sort of kind of like a VFD. Now this is the right color. Problem is, it's also the smallest ones. You can see it's quite a lot. Uh, it, it's it's just more blue, basically. Uh, and I've messed with a couple of these, and that's the light blue color that I wanted. Now the problem is that these are tinier than I thought they would be. <laughs> can I get it to focus? There you go. Uh, I can't remember what size these are. But yeah, it's that little yellow speck there. Uh, and this, now the problem is that these, the ones in the sides are also side emitting. They're side firing. So I'm going to have to try and solder these things up on their end. The 1208s, which are close-ish, they're a little bit too big actually, the spacing. They would work quite good, and these have the, the sort of side firing lens. Uh, but these are actually brighter at lower voltages than the other two. <clears throat> so, that should do good. I have quite a few of them here. Uh, how many did I get? More than 50, I think. So yeah, anyways, we'll start by taking this apart.
Okay, little hiccup there. So now you don't want to just rip this off. There's a couple of connections. So it, it sort of comes up with the, the back a little bit like that. And then sort of pulls backwards a little bit. There we go. So you can see these hook on to these little sections here. So you have a ribbon cable. Okay, and here that you just want to carefully undo. You could undo the bottom, I suppose, if you wanted. And then there's also this little bit here. So that you can see the orientation for when you remove yours if you do this. This is the two pins at the back. And this is just a thermistor for the, uh, the battery. Uh, this uses diclometal hydride. I'd like to see lithium. I used a lithium rechargeable battery in mine once. Uh, and it fried it. Because uh, the voltage was just slightly too high, I think. So, now we have the, the basic guts of the mouse. Uh, this LED board is for the, uh, the two lights and the scroll wheel. And then there's a couple on each side here. And the actual charging LEDs here, they're a weird package that definitely won't work with these tiny lights. So I'm going to leave them as it is. But I definitely want to get the scroll wheel and these to work. So you're going to want to go back to a smaller size Phillips. So now I want to see just even how viable this looks. As I haven't had this apart with the LEDs right beside it. And just pull out this little ribbon connector. And there's also, there's this little screw here, that, or this little spring here. So I like to cover one side, peel it back, and there you go. And that's the, uh, just add some spring return to this. And so it's actually, it's all a hinged mechanism. So the actual micro switch is up here. And then these are two other switches. So then you can undo this big fat screw, then off to the side, and pull this whole thing upwards. And so these button modules I can't find separately, I can only find the whole motherboard, but I think it includes these modules. So then you have three more Phillips on here, quite small ones. I'll need a smaller bit for that. And the so now this will separate off and then you have your so you have your front side with the diffuser your back side with the magnets don't keep away from that bit of screws and then you have the actual circuit board with the LEDs themselves so you can see I don't know what size that is, but they're side firing. Uh, they're nice and bright. I'll give them that much. So that's a 1208 next to them. You can see the considerable size difference in the footprint of that. And then... Oops. So that is the one that I want to put on next to them so they're you know they're quite uh, quite a lot smaller these ones i'm not sure how well they'll actually compare and then you have these two uh buttons on the back which actually actuate which i want to be careful not to uh, take off so this whole thing actually will come up with a little bit of gentle prying There we go, a little bit of glue and a couple pegs to uh, index it. So yeah, this is the, the whole module for the side buttons. Um, so I need to 
first double check the polarity on these, and then yeah, it's uh, this is going to be difficult, I think. Okay, so the positive on these is to the right here. I'm going to stick it down onto this. Actually, I'm going to put the text in a way that, so I read it left to right, positive is going to be on the right. And then I'm going to take some capped on tape. Hold that down. And... Some on the rest here. Now this isn't purely flat flex, it's got a little bit of fiberglass on it, which should hopefully help with the dealing with the heat. But I'm also going uh, to use copper aluminum. I'm going to take a little bit of copper tape here, and I'm going to... okay. See, the video is, like, lagging behind, like, a lot. Like, here, my hand's on the right side of the screen, moving it to the left. Now it's a little faster. Anyways, uh, I'm going to take some copper tape just to reflect the heat from areas that I really don't want to have damaged. Okay, so, here we go. Really don't imagine it's gonna take long to get these out of here. It would be good if I had some sort of magnified thing for this, I imagine, but I don't. There's one. I do want to keep these. Okay, and there's two. And so here. There's one on the tip of an X-Acto knife. So I don't know if you guys can, if someone can tell me how big that is. Or if I can get a package of that in a nice light blue. I don't know. But it's crazy small. So here's the, uh, the 1208 next to it again. Oh, this is really hard with the lag. Size comparison. And then size comparison between this and the new ones that I'm going to be putting on. Come on. There we go. So these are closer than 1208s. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a really weird package. I haven't done a whole lot of surface mount stuff, though. Maybe that is... Super common, but I could not find it pretty much anywhere when I was searching for a suitable replacement. Looked at all the uh, like the industry standard sizes, and I couldn't really see anything. Could probably ask Razor, but I doubt they would tell me. Okay, and so I've got these saved for later. So now they're really fucking difficult for me. Uh, trying to get one of these onto here. And I'm going to leave this nice and wide because I'm going to move it around. And I'll probably just zoom in in video editing. So from what I recall for surface mount, the left, or whatever, the green is marking the positive or the negative side. So let's go ahead and Let's make that a little wider, actually. 
Put a little bit of flux on these. Yeah, that iron's pretty hot. So this is going to be by far the finest soldering I've ever attempted. I don't know if it'll be the finest quality. I'm assuming I'll probably have to jump this with some sort of little, uh, some sort of little wire or something maybe. Maybe after I get the one side down, this will not be too difficult. That blade is acting like it's magnetized. I'm hoping that it's just that one and not all of them. Because that's going to be very difficult to deal with. Ah, good, it's just that one. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I have the negative to the left. Oh, fuck, I'm never going to be able to see this going. Whatever. <laughs> I have the negative to the left, I think. Oh, now I'm wondering if these would be bright enough that I don't need to turn them over to the side. I really, I don't think that's going to work out. But I also don't know if they're going to stick. If they're going to solder at all. Without being in the correct orientation. Jesus Christ, this is small. Oh my God. <laughs> This is just stupid trying to do this by hand, especially because now it's getting turned around. This is so stupid, man. I need a microscope for this. Like, even if I zoom in, you guys are not really going to be able to see anything. Okay, that one's kind of in place. I'm going to see if I can do anything. Anything that I want it to, I guess. Oh no, I don't want to. Okay, the solders, not even sure if that's actually making electrical contact or not. This is good for the first little bit of recording, you can see it, but it's on the right angle, and I think it's the right orientation. So I can test it with power supply. I think they are tied in parallel, so I could touch these other two contacts. <laughs> oh, okay, it's actually, it's actually like electrically connected and it's in the right polarity. Oh my god. Is that bright enough though? It looks, man, these other LEDs might be way brighter. That looks quite dim compared. Not uh, sure. That's actually like connected though. So I think I'm gonna try and do the other one here and put it in the mouse and fire up the mouse and just see how it is. So it's actually connected. I don't know if I can and see if I can touch it up slightly. Just a little kiss of the soldering iron. Oh, good. Oh, God. Ooh, I think that worked. Okay. And then a little... Clean that out. Nice and clean, solder. So that looks to me... 
Like, actually not completely horrible solder joints. Fuck, these are tiny. Oh my god. I didn't even think I'd be able to do this. Like, look at the size of a soldering iron next to this shit. Bonkers, man. It's amazing how small, like, technology can get. Yeah, and that's connected. Oh, that's nice and bright when I had the... So one thing is when I was on the other side here, it's going back through the resistors, I think. So it's dimmer. But that's the brightness I'm talking about now. There, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Now to do it again. Three times. <laughs> Wait, six times. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, yeah. And this uses like two different... Three different types of LEDs because the ones in here are different size to these ones. And the ones, these two are a different size to the ones in here. These are like a dual LED package that they only use one side of, the green side. It actually has red. I wish it would switch to red when the battery was low. That's the other thing. The battery indication of this was a little subpar. Um, they could really improve that. Yeah, so. I really wish I had a microscope for this. With the camera. You can actually get some for like only a few hundred dollars US. Which is pretty cool. I recently came across the... Well, I've seen it before, but the Strange Parts iPhone videos. Uh, like the headphone jack and stuff. The microscope he has actually a pretty nice video output on it. I really don't do this much though. This is... This is like my first SMD project, really. Uh, I've done a little bit of rework on, like, bigger things, just for practice and for fun. But this is the first thing where I've actually, like, it's an actual project. So maybe I'm a little bit over my head <laughs> with this. I shouldn't have jumped for the smallest components, I don't think. Maybe doing this... The teeny tiny smallest things is not a good idea. But that means 35, 28 size stuff. Piece of cake after this. I don't need a friggin' exacto knife to use it. To move it. And if I'm doing this again, I'm gonna reorient so I can hold this in my left hand and the exacto knife in my right hand. If you want your mouse turned into uh, one with uh, blue lights or like purple lights or something, uh, if you have one of these razor mice, Drop me a line, and it'll only cost like several hundred dollars because of how hard this is. On the other hand, it's going to be pretty sweet to have the only one of these in the world. The one I could find, which isn't green. So I've heard, I heard mention, like, people saying, like, on forums, ooh, would this be possible? Could it be done? And the answer, I think, is yes. Great difficulty. Ooh. <laughs> Man. Okay, I'm just going to look at this off camera. Oh, it looks like it's on there. Power supply. Ah, fuck, that's hot. Oh my god. Right, sorry. This is on metal. Oh, both of them lighting up. Okay, I need to touch that up a little bit, but this is looking really good. Holy. Mm. This is awesome. Ah, oh, because I originally. <laughs> oh, flux. Mm. Okay, look at that. Those look actually like pretty good. They're they're stacked sideways. God, those are so tiny. I this is easier than I thought it would be, but it's still friggin' difficult. Oh my god. But then we come in one side, lights it. Ah, 
Okay. Zoom out. Let's put this back together. Oh, be gentle. Not go gentle. There we go. Oop, my glue is still good too. Oh, yeah, because I heated it up. Okay. Oh, man, I left some of the adhesive behind. I don't have anything that thin. No. Low priority right now. Okay, there's one side. Okay, so here's my good one. Well used, as you can tell by the wear on this. Not the dust on it, though. Jesus. But yeah, you can see that the top is wearing out. And we'll hook it in. Oh, does this power tank not? Oh, because it's not going to data signal, probably. Man. Okay, it needs to be hooked up to a computer for that. <laughs> Let me grab a battery. See, look at that's so much better. I think I can just... No, I can't. I have to swap the frame over. I don't know why they made that change. This is a newer one. It's a horrible change. Okay, so there you go. You can see the... Uh... Let's turn these off. You can see the green lighting. Uh, you can just see how even it is. For the mouse, I'm worried. I don't know if they'll be bright enough for that. And then this blue might be cool, but green might also make sense because it's, you know, uh, the battery indicator. <coughs> so, we are just going to roughly connect this all back together. This in. I don't know if it needs the top end to work or not. It should be fine. Well, I don't know actually. I'm gonna say it should be fine without the thermistor. <coughs> so now. Oh. Okay, maybe it does need a thermistor. All right, let's. Getting these front things, there we go, to clip on is the hardest part of reassembling this. It lights up blue. I don't know how bright it is compared to the green. It's not staying powered on. It might just be this one's a little finicky. Ah, that looks 
good. Let me do this freezing again. I think that the the green ones have a little bit more spread to them. Actually, you can see the two points more individually, so I think they have a bit of a wider beam. The blue ones blend together a little more. They're not... Ah, it's hard to say, the brightness comparison. Well, that looks pretty cool with uh, both colors. Okay, so, video angle might be changing a little bit. I need a better mount for this. Or just, can I... I should just buy a good webcam. I don't know if there's anything really that good out there that'll zoom in well like this, but... Plugs it in. I plugged it in. And it works. And it... It looks good. I think the blue doesn't quite come back up here as far as the green does into this little section here, but it's the same pretty much everywhere else. Uh, it's, it seems to be smoother illumination than the, the green ones, and it, it doesn't come all the way out to here, but that's just because of the light pipe design. But yeah, it's maybe like slightly different, but that just is probably just... I don't know, blue light's a shorter wavelength. But yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> it looks so good. Man. I don't know, the blue is pretty bright too. These fire up to the side a little bit while the blue is sideways. I don't know. It's a difference that's very small. If I could find the exact same... If I could find these exact same ones, the exact same size in blue, then I'd, you know, I'd go for it. I'd redo this project. But this is perfectly serviceable. And pretty awesome, if I do see so myself. They don't make this mouse anymore, which is a shame. I wish I had gotten around to doing this when they still made the mouse.
All right, so this time I'm going to try and do it while it's zoomed in like this. Because that should work a little easier. Oh man, that's quite far away from me though. Yeah, I'm getting, I, I get, if I'm lucky, I get like half a second of lag after a minute of recording. It's really obnoxious sometimes. Now the surface tension on the solder will hold that in and I can fiddle with it slightly. The glue on the uh bottom of the board is boiling. I think that's part of why things were jumping. I think it was popping. You can definitely see it bubbling a little bit there. I think that right there, pretty good. Let's try and get this right on. And we'll try and make that cleaner joint. I think that one is good too. Yep. We got the same behavior of one lighting up nice and bright, the other one not so bright. This one looks like. But yeah, maybe at some point I'd like to make these blue, but having green for the battery status isn't going to be a huge thing to bother me. Uh, and it kind of makes sense. It would be nice to complete the theme, but it's just a, such a wildly different LED size that it would totally not work. So I'm going to have to buy some other 1208s and other just different style LEDs in light blue and hopefully get a color that matches these. But if I can't do it, it won't be the end of the world. Yep, oh, let's go ahead and... So we got the left side and blue. And we got the right side and blue. Are they both the same brightness? Yep, those match nicely. Pretty dim. 
Oh, I don't know. I don't think it's quite as bright as the green. But that could just be the way... I don't know. I'm sure I could change the resistors and make them slightly better. Uh, but for a first state... So you can't get this separately. You have our scroll wheel. I don't know how well blue is going to come through that. Guess we'll find out. Yeah. So these are going to be fun to deal with as well. At least they're flat. I think I tested the polarity on these, and they're like inverted from each other or something. See, so on my right hand I have positive. Okay, yeah. And you can see these are nice and bright, but also the resistors are right by them. Which is going to make this tricky. So positive is on the outside of them. Basically, you know, like positive on that side on the right, and then now this one positive is on the left. No, there's no not. Oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> hey, look at that. Both working. Ah, uh, yeah. That makes me happy. Okay, let's clean these out.
So yeah, this stuff is all supremely tiny. But with how much Razor put into it already, to add an extra two wires for each board to make it RGB, totally doable in my opinion. They could, they could totally do it. Just make the flux a little bit wider, basically. They're already, you know, doing just power. They're pairing them up. It, it would be a little more complicated on those sections, but I, I still think they could do it. I still have faith that they could manage to do it on this product. Uh, but I can see why they would have been a bit apprehensive to do it with the whole motion thing, even though those really don't move a whole lot. I can see why they might not have thought that they could do it. Clear that pretty well. So, oh, the blue's coming through the, the wheel. Oh, that's working nice. Oh, man. Oh, that comes through better than I thought it would. Oh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, Torx 6. Okay, so I just realized that the microphone, the battery one, makes a whole bunch of fucking noise uh, on the video. I'm hoping I can remove that and not compromise the audio quality too much. First time I recorded this, it wasn't quite working right. Uh, but yeah, so here we have the green one. And it does it seem like maybe marginally brighter. Uh, they look pretty even on camera though. So there is the Razor Ouroboros with the green lighting. And now, here is my customized Razor Ouroboros with blue lighting. The battery light is flashing on this. I'm going to update the firmware. I don't know why it's doing that. But, man, would you look at that. That looks sharp. That looks, oh, man, that is, that is worth, like, the stress and the waiting for parts and the cost of the other mouse. Well, this is the other mouse. Uh, I should maybe change those at some point, but 